This question is testing overlapping sets. You're going to have some students who are taking music, some students who are not taking music, some taking art, some not taking art. You're going to have an overlap between those who take both music and art. You're going to have those who take music but not art, art but not music. You're going to have those who take neither music nor art. So a lot of different ways to kind of break down the student body of, of 5,000 students. So we're going to use a Carroll diagram to solve these kinds of questions. I go into all of that in my book, which you can check out for free on quantreasoning.com. This is what the Carroll diagram will look like. You're going to have your column for uh, music. So that's whether they take art or not. You're going to have your column for not music. That's whether they take art or not. And then you're going to have your total column. You're going to have your row for art, whether they take music or not. You're going to have your row for not art, whether they take music or not, and you're going to have your total row. So each of the cells in this diagram represents a unique group of students. You've got those who take both music and art. You've got those who take art but not music. You've got everybody who takes art. Then you have those who take music but not art, those who take neither music nor art, and all of the students who don't take art. And then finally, in the bottom row, you have all of the people who take music, all of the people who don't take music, and then just all of the people, which in our case is 5,000. So we can start filling in the information from the question stem. So we would put X in the cell that represents all of the students that take music, Y in the cell that represents all of the students who take art, and Z in the, the both and cell, right? The cell that represents both art and music. Our question wants to know how many students take neither music nor art. So we're going to have to do a little bit of magic here. We can infer that the number of students who take music but not art is x minus z. And similarly, the total number of people who don't take art is 5000 minus y. So the thing that we're trying to solve for would be the difference between x minus z and 5,000 minus y. We're looking for those students who take neither art nor music. So the answer would be 5,000 minus y minus parentheses x minus z. Remember, a minus minus turns into a plus, so we end up with 5,000 minus x minus y plus z. And that's answer choice E. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.